welcome to this video my name is uh, darshan m katgeri and i am working with jain college of engineering belgaum in this video uh, we will be uh, solving a problem on isometric projections wherein we will be considering combination of uh, solids let me uh, just uh, go through the problem uh, you will see that uh, we have a square pyramid the dimensions of the square pyramid that is the base side is 40 and height is 70 mm is given to us and then uh, we have a cube cube means uh, all the uh, edges are going to be uh, equal so all of them will be equal to 50 mm which itself is placed on a cylinder of diameter 80 mm and thickness 30 mm so we see that we have three solids we have a square pyramid we have a cube and we have a cylinder and the dimensions of all of these are uh, given to us and that is why this is a problem on combination of uh, uh, solids and we have been asked to draw the isometric projections so this is important isometric projection of the solids if the axis of the three solids are in common line so let me just uh, show you the visualization in the problem first uh, we have a cylinder the dimensions of the cylinder are given the diameter and the thickness is given to us so in the front view it appears like this as an uh, rectangle and in the top view it appears as a circle so let us uh, go back to this uh, we will first bring in all of this yeah it is uh, appearing as a circle in the top view and uh, as a rectangle in the front view and the diameter is 80 mm and uh, the thickness is 30 mm which is given uh, next uh, on top of this we have uh, a cube right a cube is uh, placed on the top surface of this uh, cylinder let us go back to the presentation and uh, if we see the top view of this let us uh, go back to this if we want to see only the cylinder we have to turn this Oh, so yes. Now, if we see the top view of this, you can see that there is a circle, and then we have a square here. Okay. So this is the top surface of the square, and this is the top surface of the cylinder. So this is the view how it appears, and then you have to draw its corresponding front view. this is a cube so this is also 50 and each of uh, these lines the the lines of the square or the edges of the square also should be 50 mm then on top of this uh, we have a pyramid whose axis is 70 mm and if you see the top view it appears uh, like this 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 is what uh, is given to us if we see the a top view of this you can see here uh, we can uh, change the base the top surface color and now it will be much more visible to us yes so we can see that we have a circle then inside uh, we have one square that is the top surface of the cube and this square is uh, the base of the pyramid and these are nothing but uh, the slant edges so corresponding view is this particular view and in the front view we can uh, see that uh, we have uh, one rectangle here that represents the cylinder we have this uh, cube and then we have a triangle which is nothing but the triangular face of uh, uh, the pyramid it's like this so this is what we are supposed to draw and uh, the solids are so arranged that the axis of all of this 
the axis of the pyramid is in line with the axis of the cube which is from here to here and the axis of this cube is in line with the axis of the cylinder that is from here to here so if we switch this on you can see from here to here we have the axis of the solids which are in line so this is the combination that we are expected to draw let us go back to the presentation and see uh, to start with, again I have to start by drawing uh, the 30 degree lines here as usual and uh, uh, show the angle of 30 degree. Now because this is a cylinder, this uh, uh, figure that we will draw here will be a square. Okay? As we have seen in the previous cases, all of these lengths will be equal and all of them will be equal to 80 multiplied by 0 0.81649 so we have to multiply that when we are doing manual drawing we should multiply 80 by 0 0.81649 and draw each of these lines here that is from here uh, you measure 80 into 0 0.81649 and you mark this R similarly you mark this R then from this point you mark this and from this point you mark this and you join these lines and uh, uh, further further you can uh, erect uh, uh, axis like this edges in fact and you can get the top surface that is you have to imagine that the cylinder is enclosed in a cube and we have to obtain the cylinder inside this particular cube in the sense box we have to imagine that the cylinder is enclosed in this box and the procedure to draw this cylinder is already explained there is absolutely no change that is we have to uh, get the midpoint of this line and join it to this corner midpoint of this join it to this corner and then we have one more edge here you take the midpoint of that and join it to this corner and then we have this particular line midpoint of that to this particular corner then you take this as the center and this as the radius and from here you draw one arc this particular arc then this is the center and this is the radius midpoint of this line you draw one more arc here then wherever this horizontal line and this line intersects you take that point and you take this as the radius this is the center this is the radius and you draw this arc similarly on this side also you complete this particular arc and now inside this we have to obtain one more square we have to obtain one more square to obtain this what we can do is that we have to imagine that this outer square that is the cube is uh, placed on top of this particular surface that means you have to get the arcs what I mean by uh, all of this is now uh, this is imagined to be enclosed in a square like this the drawing is not very good because I am using mouse okay uh, so what we have to do is we have to imagine that uh, it is also enclosed in another uh, box like this we have to imagine that it is enclosed in another box like this so, like this so what we need is we now particularly need these points this point here this point here uh, these points here which are at same lengths and uh, these points so all of these points are required so these points are required so you measure these points that is from this corner you measure it and from this corner you mark one particular arc and similarly from this you mark another arc at the same time you can mark the arcs here also you can mark the arcs here also 
and you measure this particular length and you mark it here and then you can mark it here the same time you can mark here also and here also then when you join this when you join this you join this all of these uh, lines this is the uh, square i will use uh, different uh, color to represent this this is the square of interest that we need so this is the square that we need so once you obtain this uh, remember that these lengths have to be converted into isometric lengths so you whatever this length is it has to be multiplied by the factor 0 0.81649 and it has to be marked on uh, these, these lines here and once you get this square uh, next process is easy from this particular point we can draw this line the length of this line is isometric 50 because the height is 50 because it is a cube okay so this will be 50 and from here we have to draw another line 50 uh, millimeters that is isometric 50 iso 50 and from this point again iso 50 and from this point another iso 50 so all of these lengths are isometric 50 uh, then you join the top ends of this then you will get the top surface of the cube as it is shown in this uh, a particular figure then inside this we have to obtain another square inside this we have to obtain another square so uh, again you can follow the same procedure the same procedure uh, in the sense that again you have to imagine that it is enclosed in a box it is enclosed in an box so you can imagine this and you can imagine this like this so all of uh, these lengths here from here again from here so enclose that they are uh, imagine that they are enclosed in the box then measure these lengths these lengths here notice that this length this length and uh, this particular length and this particular length all of those lengths will be equal and uh, then you have to convert them into isometric lengths and uh, you have to get those distances here those distances here and uh, you have to join by light lines you have to join by light lines like this you have to join this by light lines like this and uh, then This square that we obtain, that is the square that we are interested. So once we obtain this, then you draw one line horizontally passing from this corner and another line here. And this is the center. From this center, uh, we can draw one axis. The axis length is already uh, given to us. That is the axis of the pyramid is 70 mm. And then you can join all these. Uh, that is the axis. And then you can join all of these slant edges of uh, this pyramid. Uh, once this is done, whatever is visible will be darkened. So this is the process of uh, obtaining uh, this uh, particular view. We discard all the changes. Let us go back and visualize once again a pass. So this is uh, what is expected to be uh, drawn. And uh, you have to initially draw it light and then you have to darken it uh, finally. Then how to do this uh, in the software? So to do this in the software, we will insert another sheet and uh, we will do it uh, fast i will draw one line uh, the length of uh, this line is not important but uh, it should be a continuous line and uh, then i will select line again and from here that is the midpoint i will draw one line the length of uh, that line is uh, 
uh, 70 okay so again uh, let me remind you that i am drawing the isometric view and finally i will convert all of these lengths at once that is by using the scale command so right now i will be drawing the isometric view so this is a uh, 70 mm and the angle of this is uh, 30 uh, similarly i will draw one line on this side the length is again uh, 70 and the angle is 150 in this case immediately show that the angle is 30 because this is uh, important uh, then uh, further Uh, the height this one here the height is uh, 30 mm so i will draw one line which is uh, 30 mm i am drawing it to uh, actual uh, length because i am drawing the view uh, then uh, i can uh, use the move command choose this put on copy and move it from this point to this point uh, similarly i can move this line from this point to this point and uh, this line from all these uh, points here so all these points here and i will select all these lines that is the lines of uh, the isometric projection of the square and again i will uh, move all of these lines to the top surface like this there seems to be some problem here yes so this is not starting from here so let us uh, cut this line and uh, draw it fresh that is from this point to this point you can see that this is 30 mm so now it is correct so now we will construct the cylinder that is the top face of the cylinder now we have constructed the box in which we will imagine that the cylinder is enclosed so you select one line and from the midpoint of this you join it to this particular corner and to this particular corner and uh, another line is required that is from the midpoint of this to this corner and to the midpoint of this yes now these lines uh, i will temporarily cut these lines because if there are too many lines it will uh, confuse uh, constructions have to be retained though but for uh, clarity i am uh, erasing or deleting those lines then take arc by center point and with this as the center and this much as the radius you draw one arc like this then this as the center and this as the radius we will draw another arc like this then with this as the center and this much as the radius we will draw another arc like this and with this as the center and this much as the radius we will draw another arc if it doesn't work you can try it the other way like this so uh, this is the uh, cylinder that uh, we are required to draw this is not uh, the cylinder this is the top face of the cylinder a similar cylinder has to be drawn on the bottom surface also so instead of repeating the steps what we can do is we can just use what we have done so for that what i have done is i have constructed one line and from the midpoint of this line i will draw one line 30 mm below 30 mm because the height of this uh, cylinder is uh, 30 mm as uh, you can see here it is 30 mm that is why this uh, axis is 30 mm then i can take all of these curves here and i can transfer these curves from this point to this point here and i can draw one line from this point tangential to this you can see again i will turn off the midpoint here and i will take this this is the command that i require 
from here to here so now i have drawn the cylinder there are few uh, changes that have to be made that is this part is uh, uh, not visible so it will be deleted we will do that finally so once we uh, keep this ready uh, next thing that we have to draw is uh, this particular cube now when we are doing a manual uh, drawings it has to be drawn in this place only there is no other option but when we are working in a software we can always uh, draw it uh, at the side and then finally bring it at this particular point because the axes are all lying in one line so we will uh, make use of uh, this particular liberty that we have so the the cube that we have is 50 50 millimeters edge so i will draw the cube here at the side so this length will be uh, 50 millimeters angle will be 30 degrees and on this side also it will be 50 millimeters and the angle will be 150 degrees once i have drawn this much i will take this and i will use mirror command so to use mirror command you select this command and select the axis about which you want to mirror so right now i want to mirror about this and this particular line you can see that the dotted line uh, is uh, uh, the line about which it is going to mirror so this will uh, fasten the process so once i have got this then i will draw one more line of 50 millimeters straight that is uh, straight in the sense uh, vertical and uh, at 90 degrees i mean and I will select all of this and uh, again I will use the move command, put on copy and I will zoom this a little bit and from this point to this point. I will move from that point to this particular point here. Again I will take the command and choose, uh, select the command and choose this line. Now I want to move from this point to this point. To the end point of this line and to the end point of this particular line you will observe that these three lines will not be uh, visible so we can uh, delete those lines we will delete those lines only for clarity so now we have the uh, cube okay uh, i insist that before deleting uh, it is better that we move this so you select this and you select the move option and uh, you take the midpoint reference and the midpoint reference from here so where, wherever you can see the alignment indicator in this case we are going to see it here or else we can draw one line from here to here for time being select all of this and uh, select the move command and move it from this point to this particular point uh, so uh, when we have uh, moved this i have uh, uh, realized that uh, this is somehow a uh, little bigger that is uh, because uh, the diameter is 80 millimeters the diameter is 80 millimeters and what we have drawn is uh, 70 millimeters so we have committed a small mistake so let us uh, undo this so what uh, we can uh, do now is uh, we have to uh, increase the length of this this is uh, 70 and now we want it to be 80 so one thing that we can do is we can select all of this and we can scale this so once uh, uh, we come into this in this box now i have 70 millimeters i need 80 millimeters that means i have to increase uh, the scale that means the multiplying factor should be greater than one but how much it should be uh, it uh, is 80 divided by 70 okay so by that much uh, it has to increase so once i have this i don't need a copy and i will uh, place it 
here. Uh, so now you will uh, see that initially we had 70 mm line. Now if I click on this, it will be 80 mm. All these lines will be 80 mm. So we have corrected the uh, mistake. Now I can uh, select this and I can move this. Take it from this particular point and you can move it here. Now it fits correctly like this. Uh, then this is uh, no more required, so we can uh, delete all of this. We can delete all of this, new grouping, and uh, let me cut this. Okay. Then the last uh, step is uh, we have to place the pyramid on uh, top of this. So the dimensions of the pyramid, let me just uh, see the dimensions of the pyramid. This is 40 mm. Pyramid is 40 mm and height is 70. So now we have to construct another square at 30 degrees whose dimensions are 40 mm. Length is sorry, angle is 30. And again on this side, I will construct 40, and this angle is 150 degrees, and you can place it here. And uh, as usual, you will go to mirror command and I will select what all is to be mirrored by dragging a window like this. And I want to mirror it about this axis. And we have thus obtained the base of this. Uh, one more way of obtaining the base is we already have this. We already have this. Let me make a copy of this here. This is only for uh, uh, demonstration here. So you see that uh, the length of this is 50. So I need 40 mm and uh, I can obtain it from this by using the scale command. So what I will do is I will select this and I will go to a scale command. Now the scaling factor is I have 50 but I need 40 so I have to reduce. So it will be 40 divided by 50. So it is reducing a scale. So now you will see that, let us put on one copy, yeah. Now you will see that this particular square is 40 mm. You can see all these sides are 40, 40, 40 and all these are 50. So if we have one copy and if we need one more copy of a square or of a cylinder, we can make use of the scale command. So we don't uh, need these uh, anymore. So we will delete them. So select all of this and uh, delete them. Uh, then locate the center of this. To locate the center, you have to join this. Then the midpoint of this line will be the center. I, it is not highlighting the midpoint because it is off here. So you activate this and uh, come to the midpoint of this and the axis length is 70 millimeters so you draw one line 90 degrees and the length of that line should, should be 70 millimeters that is the axis then once we have this uh, we will uh, join all of these lines here this line here and uh, this line here and this line and after doing all of this, we have to now move this from this particular point, that is this midpoint, to the midpoint of this. So I will take the inference and I will place it here. So this is the isometric projection. We have to do a lot of uh, adjustments uh, here. We have to make it fit on uh, one uh, sheet. Let me uh, delete this. I will select all of this and uh, I will drag it down a little bit. Yes, uh, once this is done, uh, then we have to uh, split the lines. So you select the split command and you select this line and the point where you want to split. I want to split it at this point. Similarly, select this line. This has to be split at uh, this particular point, that is uh, this intersection. And uh, 
further this uh, arc has to be split at this point and uh, this arc has to be split at uh, this particular point and uh, similar is the case with uh, this particular arc we have this uh, need not be split because uh, it is separate yeah uh, you can split it at this particular point end point of uh, this line and this arc you can split it at the end point of uh, this particular line like this and then uh, you can select all these edges these are the edges of the pyramid edges of the base of the pyramid then you select all of these select all of these select this select this and uh, select this, 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 and all that is visible in general. All that is visible has to be uh, selected, and uh, we can make it uh, 0.5 mm in one row. Uh, this edge was left out, so that also has to be made 0.5 mm. So, this is the isometric uh, projection of the combination of uh, solids finally we must uh, not forget to save it here we have three sheets so one two and uh, three here you can say this is problem one this is two and uh, three now when you save it uh, you go to save as and uh, you can go to save as and you can just check out the save as translated here in this option you have save as pdf i insist that you please save it as pdf you have to save it as pdf so you have to click here and go to save as pdf and i will select to choose uh, so save it on my desktop and i will uh, save this So uh, once uh, you save this, it will uh, appear on the desktop. Let me open and uh, show you this. So here uh, we have the first problem. Here we have the second problem and uh, here we will have the third problem that we have done. So this is important because uh, you have to finally take the printouts and if you have the PDF uh, copy of uh, these drawings it will help you to take the printouts a lot easier so this is the uh, complete uh, solution of the drawing these drawings have to be uh, practiced on isometric uh, grid sheets thank you